Hey, Pairs. Pairs. I'm Edwina. I'm Hannah. Today, we are going to teach you how to use the Paris Metro. <laughs> I love the Paris Metro more than any other public transportation system in the world. It's definitely one of the easiest. Mm -hmm. It's numbered, colored. Anywhere you are in the lines. city, there's always a station five mm -hmm. minutes away from you. So let's get into it. First thing you have to know is how to pay to enter the metro system. A couple of ways to do this. The first. Tickets. Yes. <laughs> so, Were you handing over to me? <laughs> so with tickets, you can pay for tickets using these machines in the metro, and they sometimes accept card or cash, sometimes they only accept cards, sometimes they only accept cash, you have to be paying attention. It's quite annoying. There's always an option to do all the things in English or in the language of your choice. And you can buy a single ticket for the full price of an adult, which is around two One euros. 190, I think. Yeah. And, or you could buy a discounted ticket for your kid. I think the kid has to be under 12 years old, I wanna say. And then kids under five, ride the metro for free and just like slip on in there with you. He's so. five, honestly. I know he looks 18, but he's five. What are you talking about? He's just tall. You can either buy a singular ticket or you can buy a carne, which is a group of 10 tickets and that can save you a little bit of money. So the second way to pay for is through a Navigo Pass. That's this plastic card. It's kind of like a credit card and you can tap it to enter mm -hmm. and you can either get a temporary Navigo pass called a Navigo de Couvert, which you can buy in the metro with the person that works there. Yep. Or you can subscribe by mail and you get the card mailed to you. If you have the de Couvert card, then make sure you print out a picture of yourself to stick on it because I almost got fined the other day because yeah. I didn't have a picture. Yeah. And that'll cost you about five euros to do You outside. do it in the metro system. Yeah before you go through, obviously. Yeah, so you gotta put that little picture on the card itself. But if Can you're I not- get it? <laughs> Can I show it? <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you forget your pictures, you can take them in the Metro. Now I'm gonna show mine. <laughs> This is the more permanent card, mm -hmm. but it's literally the same. I've kept this since my au pair year. Tip, don't give your thing to someone because yeah. they can get fined for using someone else. Yeah. With this, I feel I felt like the most powerful person in the world. Just like yeah. it's so satisfying being able to just tap it on the metro to get in instead of having to insert your ticket. Which leads us to the next thing about the metro. How the heck do you get in? You tap yeah. or you put your ticket in. And then your ticket will come back out so you pull it out and then you push and then you push. Yeah, you gotta push, push through the turnstile and then... I see so many tourists. No, being like, where does the ticket go? If you have a ticket, make sure you keep it until you exit because if there are controllers in the metro, they'll ask you to show proof that you st that has a stamp on it mm -hmm. within the last like 60 minutes or something. So how do you navigate the metro? I think it's really funny nowadays because everyone has 4G on their phones. So they use like Google Maps and just yeah. follow the map and it tells you how to get from point A to point B using whatever metros. Mm -hmm. I sometimes find that Google gives you like the, long the way longest around. way yeah. around. I personally have a download, downloaded map on my phone of the Paris Metro. So I can zoom in. I don't have to like go up to the map and look like a lost tourist. And I just have it on my phone. If ever I'm lost, I have it on my phone. Honestly, it's better to find your route where you're transferring only once or twice. If you're yeah. transferring more than like, even twice is such a drag, mm -hmm. but three times it's not even worth it. You might as well just take a metro that's a little bit farther and walk. It's like a fun little puzzle, but like the best advice on that is to just not depend on certain apps oh, like blindly because mm -hmm. they're not always the best route. Do you feel lost in the city, which we used to feel all the time. Totally lost, wandering around, not sure where I am. And if you walk for like five minutes, you will come across a metro. The biggest tip I think that was the most helpful for me was how to use the freaking metro, the literal train doors. Mm. Depending on what line you are on, the doors are different. Some of the trains are more modern than others. So on one of the style doors, there's a little like lever and you have to swoop it up like that to get yeah. in and to get out. And I didn't know that the first time around. So I literally thought, cause it doesn't open unless you turn the lever. And I thought I was trapped on the Metro because like there's, there's, I was in a 
car or whatever. And there were, I was in the Metro and there were three doors and two of them didn't open. And I was like waiting in front of one for it to open. It didn't open. It was freaking out. I was like looking all around. And then I saw the one all the way at the end of the train was open. So I like sprinted out at the very last minute and ran off. All the people on the train must have thought I was crazy. Insane. Oh, I'm so insane. <laughs> I yeah. just didn't know how to open the damn door. Yeah. It's not it's self-explanatory, especially no. if you don't speak French. So whatever on other types of trains especially on line one which is yellow there are double doors so the main train doors close but also like these big doors on the platform edge yeah, close before and the train doors even close yeah so many times i've been on line one already on the train and seen people run through those doors and get caught and this has happened to me multiple times where like i'm one of the last people to get on the train and i'm like running onto the train and then the train doors close automatically and then these gigantic barricades close and I was caught between the train and the barricade. It was so painful. I just like smushed in and some of the people were like opening it for me because they felt so bad. And then Bye. I got Bye. in. But literally it's not worth it. Oh just to wait for the next train. A final piece of advice is after you've got used to the metro system, you will be in no time jumping on and off buses. Buses were our absolute are the best. favorite <laughs> thing to do in Paris because you get like a free sightseeing tour mm-hmm. and you're with your friend and we were both listening to music on like those splitters, mm-hmm. headphone splitters, and we just like travel around the whole city. If it was the best way to get to know the buses is to just get on them and get off. And get on and get off yeah. hundreds of times yeah. all the time. You get more familiar with the city by staying on above ground transportation. Let us know your metro stories. We all have some horror stories. We didn't even like tell all of them. We could do a whole video on that. They're if terrible. We do you want to hear that video? <laughs> Let us know if you want to hear about our metro horror story. Thanks for listening. Follow us on Facebook oh, and YouTube you. and subscribe and like us on Instagram. And support us on Patreon. Please. <laughs> that would be great. That's all for now. Thanks. Ciao. Ciao. This I look like weirdo. I've just messed it up now, I can't fit it back in.